So you've been carrying those songbooks, those chord charts, everywhere you go when you go to lead worship. What if I was to tell you today that there is a solution that will give you thousands of songs at your very fingertips ready to lead worship. I want to introduce you to this wonderful app which is very cost effective called Songbook Pro. Hello oh, and welcome to another tutorial on Songbook Pro. As I mentioned before in the last video, I was going to be sharing how to back up songs on Songbook Pro using uh, OneDrive or Dropbox or whatever uh, cloud you use to back up your songs so that you don't lose them. But also in this video, I'm going to show you how to put the chords above the songs. And we're going to start from scratch by putting a song together and putting the chords above the songs. Or using Chord Pro to put them beside the, the words of the songs, which will look slightly different. But I got a, an email from, uh, what was actually a message from uh, Pamela Adams in Florida. And it read this, I found you today while looking to help for Songbook Pro. I like to make my own chord versions sometimes. When I place the chord above the correct word, these chords won't be in the right places. How do I fix this? Also, how do I highlight my own chords and control the font side of, of the words and chords? I'm looking uh, on material for our Christmas concert. On Song Lost, all my material. I think I mentioned before I had used On Song before. Well, Pamela, I'm going to show you how to put the chords on the songs and how to make them bigger and how you can customise everything for yourself. So let's get started. In Songbook Pro. So let's go to <coughs> our device. In this case, I'm using my tablet. Let's open up Songbook Pro. And we're going to go to the bottom side of the screen. In fact, we're going to go into the three dots to get it all songs up. And then you're going to hit the plus button on your left hand side. You're going to go create a new song. This song, which is going to give a title of Sample. Okay, we're not going to give an artist's name or an alternative title. But what you can do is you can detect the key that it's in. Now, you'll see a bit of an example here. All, almost heaven, West Virginia, country roads. All you need to do is just ignore a lot of that. Just press on anywhere where it's written. Press the enter button and here you have a blank screen. So this is where you're going to start. So I always press verse and then I go down enter and then I start typing my song. going to do another line here as well. I also can add to you to let you know this that I'm just going to fix the in. Uh, just to let you know this can also be done on your computer. And I think it's free on Apple, but it's £4.99 if in the UK. Um, so all I did there was just capitalise the letter for the chord that I want. And I'll do another one. Okay, now, uh, Pamela had said to me she had this issue that the chords weren't in the right place. Pamela, what I would say to you, I've looked at this, and I would say don't use the chords that's above. That's very easy just to clip on them, but they'll go a little higher than where you need them to be. So just continue to capitalise and put your chords in there. Let's see. And that is basically how it works. 
you need to put your course in then you do the same thing all again um, so I uh, put in the chorus let's say we'll put in put a D in there and we'll go down for this is say an E minor okay something like that and then what you want to do is you go to once you've got what you're happy with you just press save and there you have it now you can see that I have highlighted the chords as well and hopefully that everything's in the right place the layout is entirely up to yourself I'm going to show you how to, to highlight chords so you go into your settings you go into personalization now you've got a font size for your title you have different colors that you can use so let's say we want to give all our songs a nice blue title okay so all your songs will have a blue title your metadata um, could be your subtitle, your artist, your key, tempo. Again, you can change the colors of those. So let's go, say, for a yellow one, just like that. Your lyrics um, can be bigger, can be smaller. You can adjust it just by scrolling back and forward what you want to do there. Um, if you want to have bigger sizes, you can do that. Um, the color again, you can change the color. I'm going to leave it to black because it's easier to work with. Um, again, you can change the color of the bridge. You can um, you can make it bold to stand out a bit more. Uh, and your verse there, I've just pressed verse. Or if you want to have the chorus to be bold, just like that. And the bridge, you could change it maybe to an italic to let it know it's an italic. You can do that as well your headings um, basically that is um, again you can change the color there let's go for a green and you can see it's saying now that's heading up your verse your chorus and your bridge your chords I have them set at orange you can change them to any color you can also highlight them if you really want to so you can have a background to it as well again your notes uh, you can take notes and uh, you can change the color of those as well so we come out of the settings and now you'll see the song will look very very differently let's open up uh, one of the songs I have here on the tablet and as you can see you've got scars in heaven casting crowns with the yellow underneath the chorus is highlighted in bold and the colors are all different there as well now if you go into your editing mode which is just a little pencil you can start switching around here you can also use a thing called chord pro which allows it to be a different layout after you've already written it in and it will look slightly different uh, like this as you can see it's just a different format that's basically all it is um, chords over the lyrics is, is good enough to be fair and uh, you can go back in here edit different keys and stuff and as I say don't use um, these red ones that are all that's just letting you know what keys are in the song as I say if you need to do this manually I, I suggest you do it in a way where where you basically um, just do the capitalize your letters and go along and space bar space bar until you get to where you want to put the chord that's probably the easiest way I haven't found another way if I can if I have found another way I'll show you how to do that now I did say that this video was also about backing up your um, songs so you go into settings and then you'll have the options of general personalization foot pedals backup and sync chord diagrams advanced documentation report bugs contact and about so you want to go into backup and sync basically what you need to do is you need to sign in to your dropbox or to your uh, onedrive your google drive you need to sign into those first and then 
all you got to do is put online sync on. You can sync at the start or you can sync, sync every 10 minutes. So if you're, you're adding new songs, then you can automatically sync it to backup. I do it manually because um, I, I do use this very, very regularly. Uh, so simply what you do is you got to sign into your provider, which will be Dropbox, as I say, or as that's open that up. Just click on it, OneDrive or Google Drive or WebDAV. And basically all you do is you press the backup library. And because I'm signed into my Dropbox, this should now take me to an option. So because I have Dropbox as my backup, I will then choose Dropbox. You can also send this via email if you want to put it in an email. Um, you can put it on the file of your computer. You can share it with a friend. Whatever you need to do, you can do that. But I have it set at Dropbox. And we just simply say add to Dropbox. I already have a folder uh, which I've named on my Dropbox called Songbook Bro Backup. You can see that I backed that up not so long ago about 22 minutes ago all you do is just press upload here and it says file already exists of course it does well, let's just replace it it doesn't really make a difference to me and as you can see it's uploading to dropbox to restore that library it's very very simple as well so you come out of that go back into your on song and uh, if you want to restore you will go to your area of Dropbox and be able to download so you'll download that first of all from your Dropbox so you go into your Dropbox which I'm using and you see there's Songbook Pro Backup and um, I'll open it up with the app oh, import always yep so songbook pro is now backed up and we can restore our library here so let's open it up and there you have there's your backup so you can import the files back into um songbook pro now you can also um You can also back up by just downloading it from Dropbox as well. So I hope that's helped you today. It's very short, this video. Uh, I've tried to cover as much as I can today. And uh, thank you again. And uh, I'll do my best to show you more about how you can use this powerful app called Songbook Pro.